Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we had a question from a, a gentleman called Tom. He's asking about how do we import SVG files into Divi4 and how to resize them. Well, for those of you that don't know, um, an SVG file is a scalable vector file. It's kind of made up of mathematical equations that sort of builds all the corners and curves and everything. So when you actually scale it up and down, it should be perfectly intact, however you scale it up and down. And the other part of his question was on how to resize them. Well, you shouldn't need to, Tom, because they're scalable vectors. They should resize automatically. For instance, I've got the full page version here. Uh, if I hit F12, I'm using Google Chrome with the great inspector tools. I can resize this to a tablet or a mobile. There's a, there it is on an iPhone. And it'll scale down perfectly. Now let's go to a tablet. Make that a bit bigger so you can see. And as you can see, it scales on a tablet. So however big or small you get it, it should scale down perfectly. With the images, you'll find they will shrink. But if they're small images and you blow them up big, you're going to get pixelated versions. And if they're big images and you make them too small, they'll look a bit uh, sort of wavy. But with SVGs, it should work perfectly. And this is pretty easy to do. There's just a couple of steps to it. So let's close that. I'll enable my Visual Builder. And while we're doing that, I'll show you the, the SVG file I downloaded. It's right here, and you've got several different versions. You've got a ping, a portable network, and an encapsulated postscript version, and a DXF file. Really, you can forget about all of those. Here's our actual SVG document. And it's pretty small, 5 kilobytes is nothing. But there's no real way to just drag that and import it into Divi, or at least not that I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a text editor to break it down into code. So if I pull this back across here, I can open it with my text editor brackets. So if I right click, open with brackets. Brackets is a free text editor. I'll put the link below this video if anybody needs to use it. And there we are. It's imported it into my text editor here. I'll just blow that up. And that might look a little bit freaky, but don't even worry about it because you don't have to do manipulate it. Just simply uh, select it all. Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and we'll simply put it in a, a code module. So now I've got my uh, builder open. Let's get rid of that one. I'm simply going to add a code block right here. Or if you're not using Divi, you can do this with the, the default WordPress text editor. Just make sure you're in text mode rather than visual. Paste the code in. There we go, there's our little uh, SVG right there. Simple as that. Save it. Exit the Visual Builder. And you should be good to go. And of course you can use, if you've got one, you can use an SVG for your logo and things like that. Um, but they are very sort of underutilized graphics formats. Um, I don't know why people don't use more of them. And they're not really incorporated into, into many design systems. But that's an easy way to get around it. Like I say, just using the free brackets text editor. Looks a bit freaky if you don't know anything about code, but there's nothing to it. Just copy what's there and place it in a code module. So I hope that's answered your question, Tom. Quite short and sweet video today. And I hope you've all enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.